Ever wake up with dull headache and feeling like there's a balloon inflating in your nose? That's nasal congestion for you, a condition that can turn a good day into a challenging one. Nasal congestion, or as we commonly dub it, a blocked nose or runny nose has an uncanny knack of showing up when we least expect it. This uncomfortable sensation is more than just an inconvenience. For our little ones, it can lead to complications, making it crucial to understand and manage effectively. So, what exactly causes this uninvited guest? Let's point our fingers at allergies first. When irritants like dust, pollen, or certain chemicals take a detour into our nasal tissue, they trigger inflammation. The resulting occasionally with excessive sneezing and often runny nose that's gearing up for a marathon. And if you're someone who's always reaching for a tissue during spring, you're probably well acquainted with hay fever. With pollen count skyrocketing, your nasal passages can feel like a battleground, making day-to-day -day activities a struggle. But let's not reserve nasal congestion for the blooming seasons alone. Viral infections such as the common cold love to inflame your nasal passages, leading to that all-too-familiar stuffy nose. Now, you might wonder, how do we keep this unwelcome symptom in check? Enter nasal sprays. They're like the cavalry coming to the rescue, reducing nasal mucus and shrinking those swollen blood vessels. The result? Instant relief. But a word of caution here. Overuse of sprays recommended by local chemist or sold in Amazon may offer some relief, but lead to rebound congestion if used more than five days. Please read the manufacturer's instructions carefully. Aromatic oils like obus oil are irritants, so will irritate the inflamed nasal mucosa and make the congestion worse. You must never use aromatherapy for babies or children. For those dealing with chronic congestion, particularly due to allergies, your doctor might prescribe mild steroid sprays. These drugs prevent inflammatory response to allergens or virus entering the nostril, prevent excessive secretion, and providing relief for 12 to 24 hours only. Remember, steroid work well, but consistency is key. Every morning, blow your nose and clear any secretions, use steam inhalation, or take a shower if the secretions are thick. Spray one, two puffs into each nostril once or twice every day. Hold your breath when you feel the mist enter the top of the nostril. By understanding the causes and following appropriate management strategies, you can bid adieu to that bothersome blocked nose. Always remember to gargle your throat or drink water after using the nasal spray. Adhere to your treatment plan for at least six weeks to see the full benefits and keep complications at bay. But remember this drug works for one day and so symptoms will return. So continue regular use for six weeks and then stop. Remember, knowledge is the first step towards healthier living. Stay healthy. Please follow, share, and scan the QR code to download free ebook Maya Fighting Infections Saving Lives. Thank you.